She doesn't know she is. She is a half-formed thing, evolving and creating herself, struggling to keep a shape while the world around her tries to give her the shape she thinks she is supposed to have. Look at this room, where dust and tears have been collected on sheets and pillows. Look at the lights that are supposed to remind her that there is always a colourful way to see the world. There are plushes to remind her that she can feel small, and she has grown up but she doesn't have to forget. There are glasses of a girl who loved to read too much. The desperate love for photography and music scattered around the place like nothing else matters. And books. So many books. As if they were supposed to tell her the truth about a world she is destined to see distorted. She is a girl. She looks at the mirror and that girl is not as she is supposed to be. Maybe. No big eyes. No flawless hair. No effortless good look. No perfection. And she strives for perfection in the hope to find balance in that perfection as if it was the answer to all her questions buried in a black hole. Here's what she is. A mass in creation, wrapped inside a body of flesh and muscles and tissues and bones. A weapon of mass and self-destruction. An evolution exploding and changing and creating a universe of questions and thoughts destined to be trapped inside words that cannot explain it. I see this girl, when she walks around the room picking up stars from the sky, lying on the ground imagining how it must be to cease to be. To just stop in a momentum waiting for nothing to happen. She always looks up. She tries to express what's inside her through art and loads of crap and lyrics and out of tune moments. But in the end, there is nothing that weird or nothing to explain. She's just a girl. She's just a girl. That just couldn't be saying more. And that perfection is not needed for that girl. It takes a while to realize. She knows, and she needs to reach something more, something different. She needs to reach for happiness, maybe.